Hello all and welcome to this late Thursday night. Well, not really late Thursday night. It's only about 10 o'clock, so I'd still be at work on most nights, actually. But welcome to this relatively um, middle of the not middle of the night, um, early night kombucha review. <laughs> <clears throat> Which I am going to dub the, um, I need to see a dentist review. Kind of got a toothache. It's about time I go and see the dentist. I don't see them in a timely fashion, but, um, yeah. So what is the kombucha that we are reviewing? Because as you know, I only review, uh, non-alcoholic beverages at night. And this one is from a local kombuchery that I've never tried or heard of before. It's called Vitality. It was based out of Maui. Uh, let's see here. Is there verbiage here? Yes, there is. Living culture. Keep refrigerated. Taste the pure love, passion, and aloha in every can. Vitality is proudly made on the beautiful Hawaiian island of Maui by local craft brewers in search of balance. We've set out on a journey to craft a delicious kombucha under utilizing fresh pressed Hawaiian island tropical and tropical fruits, roots, and herbs. Stardust is a comet. It's a combination of organic hibiscus, ginger, and blue spirulina. Its combination of organic hibiscus, ginger, and blue spirulina keep added sugar content low. Let its spicy tartness transport you to another galaxy. I really need to start getting glasses, guys, because these, well, it's small. It's not that dang small. So, 50 calories. <clears throat> Ingredients, filtered carbonated water, kombucha culture. <clears throat> Cane sugar, green tea, black tea, hibiscus, ginger, blue spirulina. Contains trace amounts of alcohol. As it should, even though know, it's a fermented product. Um, like I said, never heard or tried of this heard of this company or tried it before before seeing this, but apparently looking at their website, they've been around since 2015. So not as long as some of the other kombucheries on the island. And actually, it's kind of surprising how many kombucha brewers we have on the island. And, you know, I wouldn't think that there's that much demand, but I guess so. You know, I think most people that would want kombucha could brew their own. It's very easy to homebrew, you know, keeping that Scooby up um, compared to, like, say, actually homebrewing alcohol. And, yeah. Oddly enough... They're, you know, they're not, I guess they didn't get the full trade right, trademark on this name. There's another website out there for Vitality Kava, which is not based in Hawaii at all. But I kind of find it funny that, um, you know, there's another company by the name of Vitality selling something, I think out of Europe, using a Pacific Island um, ingredient. So, yeah. Well, let's just get to this, shall we? Blue spirulina. Okay, but obviously the coloration is mostly influenced by the hibiscus. Looks like hibiscus soda if you ever had like those uh, Mexican sodas or hibiscus juice, jaritos or something. Smells of kombucha funk and hibiscus. Some earthy ginger. Obviously, I'm not smelling much of the spirulina. I'm guessing it doesn't probably doesn't add much to the color here. Maybe a little bit of opacity. So yeah, you got kombucha funk, hibiscus, ginger. Let's see how it all goes together on the palate now, shall we? Refreshing. Despite the amount of carbonation you see on here, not particularly carbonated on the palate. That's fine. 
Um, it's not particularly tart, though. There's some tartness, kind of followed by that sort of um, floral woody character that hibiscus has. There's some ginger bite up front, and again, not very strong. Followed by an earthiness in the finish that I um, attribute to the ginger. The kombucha funk is actually um, pretty reduced in this one, you know. Um, usually on the palate, it's pretty upfront. It's a lot of ones that I've had. This one is, I wouldn't say subtle, but it's restrained, comparatively speaking. All in all, it, like if there was a light, you know, a kombucha and a kombucha light, I'd almost say this is kombucha light. Um, you know, in that it could be said to be kind of slightly, yeah, I'm going to go and say it's a bit watery on the palate. So all the flavors work together really well. It's just I wish the hibiscus and the kombucha funk were pushed up a bit more in intensity. And, you know, it had more of that bright kick in the front. I, I really was expecting more tartness, more brightness of color. That said, you know, it's not, it's not any bad or off flavors. As for the blue, blue spirulina, I think it's more melding with that earthiness that comes with the ginger aftertaste. So it's kind of hard to suss out by itself. You can tell I had dinner because I'm thirsty. I'm drinking this to slake my thirst. Which it does quite well, I will you know, say. So yeah, Vitality Hawaii, Kombucha, Stardust flavor. If, you know, other kombucha that you've tried is too strong for you in flavor, too intense for you in flavor, maybe give this one a shot. It is far more restrained. If you're like me and you're looking for a heck of a lot of funk and flavor in your kombucha, kind of meh, uh, <clears throat> I will explore other ones from this particular kombucha. -ry. Um, there is one that really seems interesting to me. There's sort of a lemongrass and hops kombucha, citra hops kombucha. That that sounds pretty, quite fascinating to me. I, I really want to go, if I, if I see that one, I'm almost certainly going to pick it up and review it. But as for now, yeah, probably not going to revisit this one again, but we'll look into other ones from this particular brewer. And that, folks, is your kombucha review for tonight. Cheers.